Hi, I'm Connor. I'm an LSAT teacher with Stroman, and I got a score of 173 on my LSAT. I'd really like to be able to help students do the same. This video is part of my series on the four parts of the LSAT. Those parts are logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, reading comprehension, and the writing sample. All right, analytical reasoning. Analytical reasoning is often called the logic game section of the LSAT, and it's the section that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with. This section gives you uh, four puzzles, meaning systems of rules that uh, create a logically closed uh, system. And they'll also give you some facts that fit into those puzzles and limit the range of possibilities available. Uh, each puzzle is associated with between four and seven questions. And once you have a system of determining uh, exactly what's going on in the puzzle and what's possible, what might be possible, and what isn't possible, you can effectively answer those questions. These games are usually based on ordering, meaning you have to determine in what order a sequence of events can happen or does happen. Uh, for instance, in what order planes take off from an airport. Uh, or grouping, meaning you have to determine which groups things can or cannot or must go into. A lot of the time this will take the form of determining you know, which people will go into what committee with a, a certain set of people and a certain set of committees. Alternatively, sometimes they'll mix it up and they'll combine the two, and once in a while, maybe every few years, I really hope you don't get stuck with it, they'll just throw in a wild card. Uh, one I encountered was it, like drawing radar grids to see whether they overlap. It's terrible. This is the most diagramming intensive part of the LSAT. So unless you're a super genius, you really won't have a chance unless you have a system of diagramming the rules, the variables, and the interactions between them. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our other LSAT videos and please subscribe. I'll see you in class.